Welcome to third grade, module three. Kindness, empathy, respect. We've learned why it is so important to be trustworthy when it comes to using technology. Talk with a partner about ways to show that you are a trustworthy digital citizen. Trustworthiness is an important characteristic that you should have to prove to others that you are ready to be responsible while using technology. Aside from being trustworthy, digital citizens understand the importance of being kind while using technology. People that are kind have the qualities of being friendly, generous, and considerate. Who is someone in your life that is really kind? What kinds of things do they do to show kindness? There are many ways to show kindness towards others in your everyday life. You might help a friend who is hurt. You might see someone feeling sad and try to cheer them up. You might offer to help your parents with the dishes. There are many ways to show that you are kind. But what does this have to do with digital citizenship? Digi's parents told him that he needed to be kind when using technology. There were going to be times in which Digi was interacting with others through a screen. When interacting with someone through a device, it is just as important to show kindness as it would be if you were face to face with that person. Digital citizens show kindness through the words they are using when communicating online, as well as by their actions offline. Digi has a lot of friends and was always nice to his classmates and teachers. He believed that he already knew what it meant to show kindness online. When his parents wrote that he must be kind when online in his contract, Digi quickly scanned over that part without giving it a second thought. Of course he would be kind. Unfortunately, Digi made a few mistakes that caused him to realize that he needed to become more aware of how his online behavior might impact others. Being kind while using technology means that you use positive language, show empathy and respect, handle disagreements appropriately, and report unkind behavior. Digi was a very strong writer. He was so excited one day when his teacher announced that students had the opportunity to become peer editors. Peer editors had to be strong in their writing skills, as they would help other kids to edit and revise their work before it could be published. Digi had to apply for this job by correcting a paper that was full of mistakes. He was so excited when the teacher announced that he would be one of the editors. Digi was happy to help his classmates when they shared their writing with them online. He would create online comments to tell them how they could improve. One day, Digi opened a paper that a classmate had sent him. Immediately, he noticed that there were a lot of spelling mistakes. He could barely even read the paper. The paper had been written by a classmate who struggled in reading and writing. Digi didn't want to say anything mean to the girl, and he didn't want to get in trouble. He did, however, want his best friend to see this paper. He hit the share button and typed in his friend's email address. All of a sudden, he heard laughter from across the room. His friend had read the paper and written in the comments, What language is this in? A couple of other kids started laughing too. Then, Digi looked at the girl who had written the paper. The comments appeared on her screen too. Digi knew this instantly when he saw tears fill her eyes. He felt terrible. Your words are a reflection of who you are. Just like offline, when you post something mean online, you cannot take it back. You might be able to delete it, but others can document your words by taking screenshots. The history of your online behavior can be traced. In addition, once someone has been hurt by your words or actions, deleting it will not make their bad feelings go away. You must always ask yourself, am I proud of the things I said? Would it bother me to have my family read my words? If you would feel embarrassed or disappointed in yourself to have your words seen by family members, that is a signal that you shouldn't post them. Even though Digi did not write the mean comment, he was at fault for sharing the writing in an attempt to embarrass the girl. How could Digi have handled this situation differently? People that show empathy have the ability to understand and care about the feelings of others. People who show empathy are respectful and kind. When you see that someone is hurt or sad, your natural instinct may be to comfort that person and ask if they are okay. When it comes to showing empathy online, it can be a little harder. Sometimes it is hard to know that you hurt someone's feelings. 
If Digi hadn't seen his classmate cry, he might not have realized how upset she was. To show empathy online, you have to think about how you would feel if you were on the other side of the screen. Everyone deserves to be treated with empathy and respect. Digi and his friend did learn from their mistake. Digi ended up losing his job as a peer editor because sharing someone's work with another person without permission violates that person's privacy. Digi's friend had recess detention for a week due to his actions. Digi and his friend decided to write the girl an apology note to show that they were sorry for how they treated her. Although Digi was no longer a peer editor, he asked the girl for another chance to help her with her paper. She agreed, and he met with her in the library before school and helped her with her revisions. As they worked together, Digi found out that they had a lot in common. By treating her with respect, Digi was able to make a new friend. He learned to be kind by showing empathy for others and treating them with respect. When you have a disagreement with a friend, family member, or classmate, you can usually tell how the other person is feeling by the tone of their voice and by their body language. When you are having a disagreement online, it can become difficult to understand how the other person is feeling. This is why it is very important to be respectful when you are communicating with someone through a device. To handle disagreements online, Digi remembers these three easy steps. Pause to think about how the other person is feeling. Think about a way to explain your side in a respectful way. And work to come to an understanding. Kindness online is a lot like kindness offline. You should watch your words very carefully when communicating electronically. Written words can be recorded and saved on other people's devices even if you delete them. You must make sure that the words you use are a good representation of your character. Always handle disagreements face to face and know when to put down your device to avoid saying something unkind. Digital citizens practice kindness when using technology. And now, a word from our founder, Lisa Stroman. Technology is always going to be a part of our lives, but we have to remember that with this privilege comes responsibility. Digital Citizen Academy was created to help you become a responsible digital citizen by empowering, educating, and inspiring you to become a leader in the technology space. We want you to be safe online, and we also want you to have a voice in what happens with your digital footprint. Thank you for being a good digital citizen, and welcome to the DCA team.